Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel again. My name is MLG, your science teacher. I'm sure you have learned something about the discussions that we had um, last meeting about physical and chemical change. And this time, I'm going to introduce to you a new lesson. And this is all about atoms and its subatomic particles. So let's begin. Alright, so it has been viewed that atom is considered as the smallest or the simplest form of matter. Or it can be called the building blocks the building blocks of matter so we have here for example um, we have the structure of an atom we have this one the three subatomic particles we have proton electron and neutron so what are these things okay this contribute to the development of atom and speaking of the development there are a lot of scientists who contributed um, with regard to this atomic theory so we have Democritus, John Dalton, Ernest Rutherford, J.D. Thompson, and of course Niels Bohr, who describe the structure of atoms like a solar system. All right. So going back to the discussion, so what uh, uh, what particles what particles are atoms made of? So I mentioned a while ago that we have proton, electron, and neutron. So proton plus. So let me discuss for the proton. It is positively charged particle so it helps make up the nucleus of an atom and it's equal to the atomic number and if the atom is neutral so same with the electron so equal to the number of it's it's also equal to the number of electrons the next one is neutron so from the word neutron it is a neutral particle so there's no charge at all so it contributes to the atomic mass and it helps also make up the nucleus of an atom. And for the, and the last one, we have electrons. This is a negatively charged particle. So it is found outside the nucleus and it moves so fast, rapidly. So, so let's review now the atomic structure. So atom has its subatomic particles. And first we have this proton and neutron that is found or situated in the nucleus. We also have these electrons that can be found outside the nucleus. So we have proton, neutron, electron, and of course the center is the nucleus. Alright, so I hope class that you already know the structure of an atom. So let's proceed. For the mass and electrical charge, always remember that proton has a mass of 1, uh, neutron has a mass of 1, and then for electron, almost 0. For the charge, again, proton, positive, Neutron, none, because it's neutral, and for electron, negative, one. All right, let's proceed to the atomic number and atomic mass. In determining the atomic number, uh, atomic mass, for example, we need to consider these three subatomic particles we have brought on. So let's um, discuss first proton. So I have here an element. So for example, carbon. Carbon contains... Um, always contains atomic number 6 or it has 6 proton and of course the atomic mass is 12. So in writing um, this thing, so of course you need to write the symbol which is carbon capital C and then if you, if you observe class, there is a number written below the symbol and that is the atomic number and the number written above the symbol is the atomic mass. Sometimes in the book, the atomic number uh, represented by Z and for atomic mass it's capital letter A. How do you know class if that is atomic number? It's very easy because atomic number is a smaller number shown in the periodic table. So in the table class we have sodium, iron, tin, and fluorine here as way to identify or determine the atomic number. And it's very easy right because we all know already that in determining atomic number that is the smallest number within the predictable the given element. So it's found below the symbol. Okay, so how do you get the mass number? So in getting the mass number, you simply add these two um, subatomic particles. We have um, neutron and proton. So if you're going to add these two subatomic particles, then you get the mass number. So mass number naman is the larger the two numbers shown in the periodic table. Okay. For example, here we have hydrogen, lithium, and aluminum. So proton 1, neutron 0, mass number 1. 
So lithium, we have 3, 4, and 7. Aluminum, 13, 14, and 27. Now, how do we get or how do you calculate mass number? So simply, you just have to add number of protons plus number of neutrons. Again, P plus N or protons plus neutrons. So you have also here the table. So helium, helium, copper, cobalt, iodine, and germanium. So by looking at the table, then you will learn how to get the mass number. For the number of neutrons, you simply subtract the okay, mass number minus number of protons or minus, or it could be mass number minus atomic number. Mass number minus atomic number. Okay, so in the table, we have helium, fluorine, strontium, zirconium, and uranium. So we have four for the mass number, two for atomic number, then you get two because you subtract mass number then mass number minus number of protons or mass number minus atomic number then you get the number of neutrons so please remember that all the time so again in building nucleus we need to consider the protons and neutrons why because yun ang component to make up the nucleus of the atom so combined in the class so in here we have periodic tables here as how many protons and neutrons are there in the elements nucleus? For example, we have calcium. So if calcium has 40 mass number or atomic mass, and it has 20 atomic number or number of protons, then what will be the protons and neutrons? So that's it. So we have 40 for the mass number, 20 for the um, atomic number. So it's very clear here that 20 is atomic number, number of protons, and the number of neutrons is still 20 because atomic mass minus atomic number is 20. So alright, that's it for lesson all about um, atoms and its subatomic particles. It's very short, uh, but I think um, I think it's already there. All the concept, all the things that you need to learn um, were given already in this vlog. So I hope that you have learned something. Well, if you have some questions, then feel free to ask me. You can send me a message in Messenger so that I can also respond to your question. Okay? If you don't have a question. Well, guys, as always, um, just to know if you have learned something. So I have this one. Check your understanding. So please answer the table. Complete the table by filling in the right answer. And then, of course, you just have to type your answer in the comment box or leave a comment in the uh, my youtube channel right so that's it so that's all for today and i'm hoping that aside from learning you're having fun as well so again this is teacher m your science teacher saying goodbye everyone and keep safe